What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. Today's video I'm talking about why I'm having a complete rehaul of my crafting operations in World of Warcraft right now. So if you've been a supporter of me for a long time, you're on my Patreon or something like that, then you'll kind of know that I like to specifically focus on the crafted transmog markets of at least one to 2,000 gold and above. Anything below 1,000 gold, I don't waste my time on because I don't like to have millions of things to post on the auction house. So I want to talk about what I'm doing now to make gold because I am actually making gold. Making really good gold right now with crafting. Yes, Dragonflight crafting isn't the greatest, but I have to get a bit more intelligent about it. So if this video is up your street, remember to hit that like button. Without further ado, let's go. First is first, one of the things I've really been focusing on over the last week or two has actually been switching all of my operations onto one character. And what do I mean by this? Well, I use a add-on called Trade Skill Master to do all of my crafting with World of Warcraft. So I have every single profession in the game and I use a add-on called Trade Skill Master to actually craft everything. This automatically works out what materials I need and it will tell me what I need to buy from the auction house. I go and buy it and then I craft it into wonderful goods to sell on the auction house. Now, once I've done that, I then take those wonderful goods, sell them on the auction house or well, I just post them for 12 hours at a time and then I repost them every 12 hours. And that is it. I don't worry about anything else. Now, the problem I've had with all this stuff in the past is I've had too many characters to deal with and it just does my nut in. I get so annoyed. So what I've decided is to take all my operations from all the various different characters and consolidate them into one character. Now, what this means is I can effectively control all of my restocking supplies, all of my posting operations, all of my cancelling operations, everything from one single character, which I absolutely love. Now, you're probably wondering, how on earth did I do this? This is a really, really good question. And I'm going to talk through my entire process in this video. First is first, I had to recognize that I needed to make a group for every single profession. And if you're brand new to gold making or you're just getting started, you probably don't even know how to do that. So let's cover that right now. What I want you to do is go ahead and install Trade Skill Master. I've put a link below to two things that you will need to get. The app helper, which is downloaded onto your PC and is basically the back end, the boring database that updates all of the items into your add-on. And the second one is obviously the add-on itself, which you put just into the World of Warcraft retail interface add-ons folder. Once you've done those two things, you can kind of move on to the next step. You will need to make a Trade Skill Master account and select which realms your characters are on. This will make sure that you have the most up-to-date database for your specific realms. Now, once you've done that, go into World of Warcraft and open up the TSM icon on your minimap. At that point, it will basically just show base groups. Click on the plus sign and click plus. This is basically making a brand new group. Call it whatever it is you want to call it. It could be Jim Bob, it could be Bruce Lee, it could be tailoring, it could be sausage, it could be potato, whatever you want to call it, just call it something funny, maybe even call it subscribe, go ahead and click on one of your professions. Once you've done that, congratulations, you've made your first group. You can now add any item that you've found in the World of Warcraft into that group, but we will need operations in order to sell it on the auction house. So find a random item just to stick it in that group for the very first time, and then let's add an operation. To make an operation, go to the TSM icon once again and click on that, then click on operations. At this point, you'll need to decide whether this is an auctioning operation or a crafting operation. Ignore the rest right now because it's just not relevant to what we're looking at right now. So let's make an auctioning operation. To make an auctioning operation, click on auctioning operations. Now click on the plus symbol to create a new auctioning operation. Once this is made, give it a little title so you can remember what it's for. In this instance, why don't you make one for a specific item in your bags? Doesn't matter what it is, you're willing to sell it, just any item, okay? Call the operations 
potion operation, potion post, whatever it is you want to call it, just call it that. Then go ahead and scroll down to the part we need to look at. Then go ahead and click on posting, which is the middle of the three buttons. You've got details, posting and cancelling. At this point, you'll be given a variety of different options, such as the auction duration. I like to set this to 12 hours personally because I'm on a high pop server and I have to do lots of reposting and it is what it is. I've just got used to it. So I personally put that to 12 hours, but the default I believe is 24. Go ahead and set that to whatever it is you want to set it to. At this point, I stick my post cap on one. At this point, I stick my post cap to whatever it is the maximum amount I want to post on the auction house. Say I want 20, I, I type in 20, that easy. As for the rest of the stuff, I kind of ignore it until I get down to posting price. Posting price is a pretty useful configuration that we're going to look into right now. So the undercut amount, you don't need to put any amount for this. You can put zero copper because the way that the auctions work in World of Warcraft, you don't actually have to undercut by any figure. It's the most recent auction on the auction house, which will be the first one bought. This is really, really useful Trust me, good sir. So just put it as zero copper. Now we're looking at minimum, maximum, and normal pricing. Honestly, if you're looking at just selling a random item that you haven't crafted, just leave it on default. The defaults actually work really, really well. And TSM has been out long enough that the add-on developer really just puts a pretty good option for just selling things in general. Now, if you're looking to sell something that's crafting, you'll really want your minimum price to be 110% of crafting cost. So this basically means that you'll get 100% of your gold back for how much you spent on the crafting materials, and then you'll get a further 10% profit on top, which is basically why we're setting it the very minimum to 110% crafting. Okay, so that's what I usually like to do. Then for maximum pricing, I like to stick, I'm quite ambitious, so I actually stick 500% crafting. So I want a minimum of 500% of the actual cost of crafting that particular item. And then if there's a particular item that, for example, I'm the only one on that auction house who's posting the item, I actually like to put a DB region market average price as well. And this will ensure that if there's no one else posting on the auction house, I can actually just post mine at a much higher price because supply and demand, baby. So to do this, very simply just copy exactly what you can see on screen, max, open bracket, 500% crafting, comma, space 500% db region market av close bracket press enter and that will save then we can go ahead and look at the normal price and you can see we've got something similar but i've actually just halved exactly what is on my maximum and put that on my normal price instead now if someone posts above maximum i've got it set to only post at my maximum which is brilliant once you've made that operation go back over to your groups by clicking the tsm icon click on groups and then very simply apply that operation to your group. To do this, click on your actual group that you've created, go to operations, which is the option on the right side of the screen, scroll down to auctioning operation, and then click add more operations. At this point, you can just select the actual operation that you've made yourself. Voila, you've now got posting operations. Now say you've got posting operations, but you haven't got crafting operations. Let's show you how I like to do crafting operations. Because I'm on a really high pop realm and I get so many people undercut, I don't like to waste my time on low cost slash low profit items that I can craft. I actually prefer to focus my efforts and energies on items that are gonna bring me a bit more gold for my time. So my time is worth more. I basically create high cost crafting operations. So let's do that again. Let's click on operations at the top of your screen. Go down to crafting operations and click the plus symbol. Once you've made this, go ahead and select the minimum restock quantity that you want. So say you post 20 to the auction house. If you've got this set to one, this will ensure that basically, if you've sold four of them, it will restock four. If you instead don't wanna do that and you only wanna restock it when all 20 have sold, you need to set that to 20. So when all 20 have sold, it will then say, Rosie, you need to restock it, you sausage. Now you can also set a maximum restock quantity as well pretty easy to work out so go ahead and do that now for set minimum profit you can either select yes or no depending on if you want a profit when you're crafting a particular item there are some rare items in the game which are actually so good to craft and are really hard to work out the profits on 
that sometimes you do select no when crafting, but for the most part, most items in the game, you do want to set that minimum profit as yes. Then go ahead and put the amount of gold that you want to make from crafting. For me personally, I want 1000 gold minimum. Most of the time, I actually aim for 2000 gold, but don't tell anyone else. Now you can select here if you want to override TSM's default craft value if you want to, but I personally like to just leave it at the default. Keep it simple, stupid. That's my favorite saying that I'm always thinking about whenever I'm dealing with complicated things like TSM. Keep it simple, stupid. Once that's done, you're effectively done with crafting operations, but you're not done there because you need to go to groups now. You need to select your group that you want to apply this operation to, then go to your group, select it, and then click operations. Scroll down to crafting operations and click add more operations and select the crafting operation you've just made. Boom, voila, you've now got a group which can effectively craft items and post them to the auction house. So when you come to an auction house now, you very simply just click on the auctioning at the top, then click post items and just scroll through and post those items. Okay, so when you've opened your auction house, make sure you click on WoW TSM. Go ahead and click auctioning, select your group, and then click run post scan. At this point, TSM will automatically figure out what items you've got in that group, what posting operations you've got in that group, and effectively give you the option to post using your settings. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, save yourself loads of time. Now, as you're going through, you can go ahead and click on post, 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 and it will eventually post every single item. But you're having to click every single time it gets kind of annoying, I think. So what I like to do is I go back to TSM. I open the icon. Brilliant. Now I click on settings at the top and I scroll down to where it says macros. On the macros tab, I then select bound actions and I make sure that I select my auctions cancel button and auctioning post slash cancel button. Then go ahead and click on the scroll up and down and click your modifier that you want to do. Personally, I use alt. Then click update existing macros. So when you go to the auction house now and you use that, you press alt, you hold that down and you scroll with your mouse wheel and this will automatically click on post for you several times. Make sure that your cursor is over the post button. This is quite an important thing for you to do, but generally it's a lot easier to scroll your mouse wheel than it is to click a bunch of times. It can be kind of annoying. So as long as you're holding the button you've selected and you're scrolling up and down, you can effectively post hundreds of items in literally seconds. It's so awesome. I love it. So now you know how to create groups and how you can effectively create items and sell them on the auction house. Now I'm going to show you how to restock those items using your profession. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually create a profession group based off all of the various items you've got in your professions. Really simply open up whatever profession you are using, then select TSM. So you're in the TSM screen of your profession. Then next to search patterns, the actual search bar, there's a slight little button. It's really small and it's called create professions group. Okay, go ahead and create that. And what you'll notice in the chat, it actually says in that chat, a group has been created. This will actually have every single item in your profession automatically created into a TSM group. So now when you open up TSM, not just the professions tab, but the actual TSM itself, go to the icon and go to groups. You'll see there's a brand new group in there for your specific profession. In this, I'd go ahead and select the operations you want to have in that group and boom, bang, ping, you've now got a profession group made just like that. Now, once you've got that, open up your professions tab once again and now click on, on the right side, restock groups. Brilliant, that's done now. We can now select which group we want to restock. Select whatever group you want to restock and restock the group. This will now bring up a really cool screen on your queue just under the restock groups Bar, and it will actually show you what items you are going to make to make profit based off your crafting operations. If it's not showing anything, it means that your crafting operations are probably set a bit wrong. Go back to the portion of the video where I cover that and just select what works for you. Now, let's get down to getting the actual materials from the auction house. This is really easy and a lot of people who use TSM don't know about it. So go to the gathering tab at the top of the crafting profession TSM screen. And now this will open up a similar looking box where you will select the crafter you want to use. Basically click the drop down menu and click which character 
with the professions you want to use. Once that's selected, you will now click on the open task list. Once this list is basically open, you can go to the auction house and click browse, then go to the task list and click scan all. This will automatically scan every item that you need to buy in order to craft using your professions to make gold. This is why I personally like to stick for those one to 2000 plus range because it means there's less stuff to buy from the auction house, there's less upfront cost, but the stuff I'm crafting is going to make a decent profit. Even if it takes ages to sell, I'm okay with that. I'm selling literally hundreds and hundreds of high value items. So I know one will sell usually every day or two. And when it does, I'm in with some big gold. Once you've bought all those items and you've gone to your bank, you've gone to your guild bank, you've done everything, you've got all the items you need on that character, you can now go back to your crafting profession and very simply click on crafting tab at the top, and then click craft next. And it's automatically gonna select what's next in the queue and craft that item. It's honestly awesome. Now you've made all that stuff, head to the auction house and post it on the auction house. Brilliant. So now you're kind of proficient in how to craft things using your professions and how to post them onto the auction house. Now I'm gonna show you the next step to creating your gold making empire. So at this point, I'm gonna create a new operation with you called mailing operation. I use this every day in World of Warcraft. I couldn't live without it, if I'm honest. I, I, I think I'd quit World of Warcraft if I didn't have this operation. That's how important it is to me. Okay, so open TSM once again. Click on the operations tab at the top of the screen. Go down to the mailing operation and click the plus symbol. At this point, we're going to make a brand new operation. So give it a name for something you want to do. So for me personally, I have it called main crafter. Now do bear in mind, all of my operations that I've got are on my Patreon. So if you support me over on there, you will get access to every single operation I've got in World of Warcraft. It's awesome. So go ahead and title your operation, whatever it is you want to title it. Then where it says target character name, select the character on your account that you want to be your main hub of auctioning activity. You don't want to waste your time logging in, logging out, logging in, logging out. It's too much effort. Do it on one character, okay? So for me, I call this Rosium. So I basically send it over to a Rosium, my main character, and he is the one that does all the posting. Now, select the amount of items that you want to keep. For me, I select zero because I don't want to keep any items. I want them all sent over. And then once that operation has been created, go to the group that you want to select it to and click on the group, then go to operations. And then very simply go down to mailing operations and click main crafter. Now I do want to just preface this and say to you, you will have material groups automatically made when you make profession groups using the UI icon. Make sure you don't have a mailing operation selected on your materials groups. This is to avoid annoying things such as having your materials sent to random characters and things like that. You're much better off unselecting your mailing operation and leaving that completely blank for your materials. For items, you want your mailing operation. That way, one character will receive all of your crafted items and post them to the auction house. It makes it so much easier to run cancel scans and repost and everything like that. Thank me later. I think now you have a good understanding of exactly how I make loads of gold with crafting in World of Warcraft. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and click subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. This is Erosium out. And remember, if you want to check out my TSM profiles for myself, then go ahead and check out Patreon, where you can get access to all my guides on erosiumtv.com and all of my TSM profiles. So I'll see you there. This is Erosium out.